Well, a comprehensive plan is being put together meantime for shanty towns following a recent Supreme Court ruling ordering the demolition of just two of nearly 180 unregulated structures. The ruling handed down on the same day the country's human rights record was being examined by the UN in Geneva, Switzerland. Now, speaking on the issue ahead of Tuesday's cabinet meeting in Grand Bahama was Public Works Minister, the Honorable Alfred Sayers, who heads an interministerial committee on this very complex issue that includes the Attorney General, the Ministers of Immigration, National Security, Social Services, and Foreign Affairs. Because of um, the implications in terms of the international obligations of the country, uh, we're also uh, making, communicating with some of the multilateral uh, agencies because it will involve a major um, undertaking of expenses and we are also trying to see how we can get the maximum uh, support of multilateral uh, partners uh, so that we can address this situation in a comprehensive way. Now in terms of how big a financial undertaking this is, Sarah said only this. A budget has uh, been formulated and we are speaking with the Ministry of Finance and also seeking the cabinet approval of course.